Charlotte is not Atlanta's little sister. Charlotte is its own city now. We've been growing up for a long time and we're definitely uh, not in anyone's shadow anymore. I'm a native Charlottean. There's not very many here. We are definitely like unicorns. Uh, it's a transplant city, so we have to adapt to those tastes. People from New York, Chicago, other large cities are used to very elevated food. Charlotte definitely has that, and it's delicious. The advantages of doing a food tour rather than just going to a bunch of restaurants is, cost-wise, it's much, much cheaper. Secondly, me. <laughs> Basically, there's nothing for you to worry about when you're doing this tours. You can just come in, sit down, not have to worry about ordering anything. I've already done it for you. Taste Carolina offers a broad range of tours, specifically in Charlotte. We do a midday or brunch tour, which is really popular on the weekends. And we also have a nighttime tour, which is a very heavy drink-based tour. We do custom tours, we do corporate tours, uh, we do regular open public tours, but sometimes those also turn into little private tours if you're lucky. We like to do local places, places that started here uh, and got larger or just expanded beyond North Carolina borders, or folks who source their food, whether that's locally or internationally. Um, I love it when I know where my food comes from and what exactly I'm tasting. Diapia is a boutique importer of fine artisan Italian foods. Everything that you see in our retail store, all of our pastas, um, olive oils, tomatoes, balsamic vinegar, truffles, and all kinds of other things, we direct import from Italy. We source from local regional producers, uh, so we're looking for things that are very high quality products and also kind of regional specialties. We're that wine shop that looks like a walk-in closet, but sells all these other things. So we sell an international selection, ranging from $5 all the way up to $1,100 in-house. It includes beer, wine, sake, vermouth, bitters, collectibles, including R2-D2s, uh, other types of toys like Hot Wheel cars, and bikes. We love Johnny. He's our neighborhood bridge builder, as we call him. And he is such a great guide for Charlotte because he's lived here for so long and he walks everywhere. So he sees everything that happens. He sees as new restaurants go in, as old restaurants leave. Um, and so he, he has a really great vibe for what's, what's happening in Charlotte and the history of Charlotte. You can tell that he deeply loves his city. He's invested in it. And it's really important to him that you enjoy it as much as he enjoys it. I'm coming away feeling like I probably didn't book a long enough stay because there's a lot of stuff that we could be doing and walking around and seeing that I'm just feeling like I have a taste of, literally, which is the point of the tour, I guess, but I would love to come back and visit most of the places that we went to and have a full meal there. Charlotte is no longer a little town. While it still has a small town feel, it's definitely grown into its own. We're named for a queen, for God's sakes. Like, of course we're gonna get big. For more information about booking a Taste Carolina Charlotte food tour, go to tastecarolina.net or give them a call at 919-237-2254.